Um, I am uh, Dr. Muntasser Ismail. I am a consultant interventional cardiologist and uh, an assistant professor in the uh, Faculty of Medicine in uh, Islamic University in Gaza. Uh, I'm here today to illustrate the cardiovascular examination uh, step by step. السلام عليكم السلام كيف حالك؟ أنا الدكتور منتصر إسماعيل أه بدي أفحصك بس بعد إذنك عشان نطمن على قلبك والأوعية الدموية ثواني بس بدي أشيل الملابس خليك مرتاح So after introducing ourselves and taking the permission from the patient, we start the general inspection by looking from the foot position of the patient centrally. Patient is lying flat at 45 degree. He is comfortable, doesn't look to have any dyspnea or respiratory distress. He is fully conscious as well. Uh, at the same time, we inspect and look for any peripheral clues to uh, help in diagnosing uh, for the patient. Uh, the patient is not attached to any IV line or uh, nebulization or other clues. Then starting the general examination by examining the hands. ممكن تحط ايديك لو سمحت هنا قدامك افردهم مع بعض ايوه starting to look for any clubbing to the fingers الايد الثانية ممتاز so no evidence of clubbing افتحهم هيك looking as well for any stigmata of infective endocarditis like genway lesions or osler nodes looking for any splinter hemorrhages nothing there on the other hand as well. And also we look for any peripheral cyanosis or uh, xanthomata. All are absent. Next we move to the uh, uh, checking the radial uh, pulsation. So checking the radial pulse for two purposes, the rhythm and the rate. Checking the rhythm, rhythm is regular, and the rate we count for 15 seconds. Times four, so this is around uh, 78 beat per minute. Okay, so after uh, checking the rhythm and the uh, pulse from the radial artery, we must go for radio-radial comparison. Checking, Now we are checking for any radio-radial delay. No radio-radial delay. And for radio-femoral delay as well. Just examining the femoral artery and comparing with the radial. And no radio-femoral delay as well. Now moving to the arm, of course at this stage blood pressure should be measured and we can delay this later in the vital signs uh, checking. So uh, we here uh, check the collapsing pulse, checking collapsing pulse by uh, palpating the radial artery by four fingers in one hand. After asking the patient about any pain, we put the thumb of the other hand on the brachial artery and suddenly elevate the hand significantly and looking for any uh, collapsing character of the uh, pulsation. So it is negative in this patient. Next we move to ex examination of the face and the neck. Examining the face including examining the eyes ممكن تطلع فوق لو سمحت أيوة. looking for the uh, conjunctiva and the sclera for any jaundice or pallor as a sign of anemia 
We as well look for uh, xanthelasma. There is no xanthelasma around the uh, eyelids. And also for corneal arcus. Can you open it if you want? Mumtaz. After that, examining the, uh, the mouth. Can you open it if you want? Yes, on the end. Open it a lot. Okay. Looking here for any uh, uh, central cyanosis, for high arc palate, if there is suspicion of Marfan syndrome, and for the dental hygiene. And sometimes, in some cases of aortic regurgitation, we look also for ovular pulsation. Gul ah. Ah. Okay. Shukran. Also in the face, we look for malar flush. There is no malar flush, obvious, and no plethoric face as well. Examining the neck after that, ممكن تطلع لو سمحت على الناحية هذيك لا شو بشويش أيوة هيك تمام شكرا. Examining the neck, including examination of the jugular venous pressure, just looking from the side, there is no significant pulsation. ممكن الناحية الثانية لو سمحت أيوة. Okay. So no significant uh, jugular vein uh, distension or pulsation. Otherwise, if there is distension, then we can use a ruler to measure the perpendicular component of the uh, venous uh, uh, column height to measure the JVB uh, pressure. Uh, one thing more in neck examination is examining the carotid pulsation. So examining both sides separately and here we will comment on the character of the pulse and the volume okay normal in the left side and then the right side is normal as well also if uh, it is indicated clinically we can check for lymphadenopathy uh, if the clinical uh, picture suggests that Uh, after the face and neck, we move to the precordial examination, which is three stages, inspection, palpation, and uh, auscultation. The inspection starts for looking for any uh, deformity in the chest. Here we see no deformity, no gynecomastia, and also looking for scars. The uh, common places for scars are the midline, uh, sternotum scar. There is no scar here. Also, we looked at the submammary, left and right side, the axillary, both sides, and infraclavicular for any implanted devices. And here, it, it, uh, there is no uh, scars or devices implanted. Also, inspection including the uh, looking for any visible pulsation. Here, no obvious visible pulsation in the uh, apex, and no dilated uh, veins on the upper uh, chest as a sign of uh, superior vena cava uh, obstruction. So, the inspection now is done. After we finish the uh, inspection, now we go to the palpation. Palpation, first of all, we palpate for the apex beat to localize the apex beat from lateral to medial. Okay, now we localize it and we count the ribs. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So it lies on the fifth intercostal uh, space at the midclavicular line, which is normal, not displaced. And also we comment on the character. The character of the uh, apical beat, is it tapping, thrusting, heaving, or hyperdynamic, or normal? Then we palpate for the thrills, looking for thrills in the valvular areas with the tips of the fingers, looking for any thrill. And as we know, thrill is a palpable murmur. So, there is no thrill as well in this gentleman. 
And the last thing in palpation is the parasternal heave. Checking parasternal heave is uh, applying the hand perpendicularly at the left sternal border and pressing slightly. Checking for any power shifting or lifting our hands up. There is also no parasternal heave in this patient. And then we move to the auscultation U using the stethoscope. We use both the diaphragm and the bell in the examination. Okay, starting with the apex. Then the fourth intercostal space left parasternal. Then the second area uh, of left parasternal border. It's the pulmonary area. And the aortic area, the right second parasternal space. Again, we repeat, but with the bell not the diaphragm. And we look for any radiation, like axillary radiation. Or carotid radiation, if we have any murmur. ممكن توقف النفس لو سمحت. اوكي تنفس عادي وقف النفس ثاني ممتاز After that we can ask the patient according to the findings if we find uh, uh, clinical uh, uh, oscultatory findings suggestive of uh, mitral stenosis for example we ask him to go to the left lateral position ممكن تروح على يسارك لو سمحت أيوة كمان شوية ورفع إيدك هذه لفوق أيوة ممتاز مية مية ما عليش تروح كمان أيوة خلاص تمام أقعد حيلك تاني طيب بدي إياك تقعد حيلك من فضلك يا راغب أيوة after that, we ask the patient to uh, sit up forward and we teach him how to hold his breathing. بديك تاخد نفس وبعدين تطلعه على الآخر وتوقف لما أطلب منك تمام. خد نفس طلعه على الآخر طلعه لبرا لبرا وقف قدم لقدام شوي. تمام. شكرا جزيلا. And this is special to detect any uh, aortic uh, regurgitant murmur uh, which can be detected easier by this uh, maneuver. بعد إذنك بس بدي uh, نفحص ظهرك. So looking at the back, the few things that we examine from the back include the sacral edema. We look for any evidence of sacral edema, uh, especially in patients with suspected heart failure or congestive heart failure. There is nothing. And we auscultate at the lung bases to check for any crepitations. خد نفس وطلعه. من تمك كمان ممتاز نفس تاني ممتاز نفس تمام نفس ممتاز if we suspect of any plural effusion in cases of heart failure if we find some decreased air entry then we move to do percussion just looking for any dullness
and it is negative as well in this gentleman. Okay, ارتاح يا راغب لو سمحت. تمام. Now we move to just examining the. abdomen and the lower limb quickly we make the bed flat okay with one pillow and this is the ideal position to examine the abdomen quickly according to the cardiovascular findings it, uh, so examining the abdomen according to the cardiovascular findings we might look for any organomegaly okay Okay, come on, Nafas. Okay, now looking for in hepatomegaly, and if there is hepatomegaly, whether it is pulsatile or no, as we find in the tricuspid, in severe tricuspid regurg cases, and we can do also the hepatojugular reflux uh, at 45 uh, degree, and uh, also for splenomegaly, hold Nafas, we look like the cases of infective endocarditis, we have as well spleno. Uh, if there is suspicion of ascites, we can do the shifting dullness technique looking for ascites in the uh, abdomen. And finally, we uh, examine both femoral arteries, just checking the pulse in the femoral artery. It is normal. On the other side, it is normal as well. Finally, uh, we move to check uh, the lower limbs. Uh, we check the peripheral pulsation in the popliteal artery in the right side and the left side as well, checking the popliteal. Then, dorsalis pedis, midrijlak lo in both sides, right and left, and posterior tibialis, it is well palpable in both sides. While we are examining the lower limb, we look for uh, any pitting edema which is absent in this patient, no pitting edema and good temperature and no abnormal discoloration in the lower limbs. Now we finish the uh, both general and uh, uh, focus uh, physical examination of the cardiovascular system. After that, we cover our patient and thank him for his cooperation. Shukran jazeelan ya raghib. Alf salam alaykum. Ma tshuf sharr inshallah. Salam alaykum.